Hi, it's Alana and welcome back to Yogi Yin. I put together today a second sequence of yoga for fibromyalgia after months and months of many, many people asking for another sequence because they were bored with the first. This is going to be a standing sequence. The last sequence we practiced was a seated. It's going to be about forward bends and backward bends and twists and about flowing with the yoga rather than holding postures so we don't increase the damage or inflammation in the body. For those of you who have asked for a gentler, softer practice when you're in that chronic pain, I am going to put together a sequence for you as well to practice, which will be more about working with the breath and deep relaxation. But for those of you who simply wanted another sequence on fibromyalgia, here it is. Please keep your feedback coming. I love to hear from you. Namaste. So I want you to come to standing on your mat if you've got a mat at home. Or if you don't, if you've got just a wooden floor or a carpeted floor, that's fine. And just place your feet directly underneath your hips. We always assume that our hips are much wider than they actually are. So look down and check that they're underneath your hips. And we're going to come into a Tadasana standing pose first of all. Now as with our first video, the practices, um, the asanas that we use for fibromyalgia are short and quick. Forward, backward bends and twists. So I want you to just pick up your toes and stretch them and then plant your toes down into the mat. And then just pick up your heels and plant your heels down into the mat. If you lock your knees back like I do, just release them. Tuck your tailbone under, roll your shoulders back and down, draw up through the sides of the body rather than the belly, let the belly be free. And then just drop your chin, looking straight ahead. And I want you to just gently take your weight backwards and forwards until you find that place where you could stand for a long time. The arms are strong but they're soft. The body is strong but they're soft. And just breathe here and see if you can feel the weight in your feet and that way you know that your body is grounded. I'm going to show you standing from the side, Tadasana spine looks like this. And from here I want you to inhale and I want you to gently roll forward. Dropping the head and the shoulders all the way down to your mat. And depending on your flexibility, you can either bend your knees here and just take hold wherever you're comfortable. or if you're super flexy, you can take your palms underneath your feet and just roll forward and we're not going to stay here for long. And then inhale, gently release those hands, bend the knees, roll all the way back up, vertebrae by vertebrae, shoulders, neck and head are the last to come up. So forward bending. And now gently coming into a backward bend, either bringing the palms of your hands together behind your back, crossing over at the thumbs, or if that's too much, take hold of the inner elbows. And then I want you to really just ground down through your feet and from here, gently come back. Inhale, come up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, and exhale, come back. Take it easy with your lower back here. Breathing out, releasing. Inhaling to come back up, breathing out, releasing. One more. And then jam to coming back to center. This time fall forward. Just being very gentle with the body and then gently twist from side to side. 
So we're keeping the movements flowing. And we're stretching through the calves. And then come back to center, bend the knees, and gently roll all the way up, being very mindful of the body. Coming back to center, coming now into a gentle twisting sequence. Inhaling and take that right arm back behind you, and exhale, push the left arm away. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, join the hands at Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, take the left arm behind you. Exhale, push the right arm away. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling here. And keep working with this. Breathing out. And in yoga we always say breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. If you can, is the best way to go. But if you find more relief, for chronic pain, breathing out through your mouth, please use that. Inhaling, take the left arm behind you. Exhale, push the right arm out. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more round. Beautiful. And just hold it here for the weight. Good. Now step your feet out nice and wide. Turn your toes out towards the corners of the mat. And we're going to do a round of Qigong. Now I want you to be really gentle with yourself as you do this and I want you to bend deep down in the knees. Don't lock the knees. We're going to inhale, raise the arms and exhale. Drop our head, sweep the earth and come back up. Releasing, exhaling as you do, inhaling, coming back up. Bend those knees, release the body. So we're keeping the energy flowing. We're not holding postures and damaging the body. Couple more, it should feel like a big release. Shakrasana, gently twisting through the body. Keep the arms nice and low, particularly if you're feeling it in your lower back. But if you're feeling it in your middle spine, raise those arms. Now I'm bending my elbow. I don't have a lot of room, but keep your arms nice and straight. Think of a helicopter. This is a beautiful way to twist all the way through the spine. Now, if you're feeling it in your shoulders, raise your arms up and over your head. Keep it nice and slow. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Open them again if you get dizzy. But really swing through the body and slowly wake your way back down. And you can repeat that again. Making your way up through the body. And then slowly back down.
that and it feels pretty blissful actually. And then come back to center. Gently bring your hands to Namaskar Mudra at the heart. Close your eyes. Feel the weight in your feet. And just do a quick scan of the body. Make a note if the body feels different at the end of the sequence than it did at the beginning. Allow your exhalation to gently extend so it's longer than your inhalation. It's going to allow your body to move into your parasympathetic nervous system. It's just going to make it easier to cope with chronic pain. When you're ready, float your eyes open. Now you can practice this standing sequence back to back with the seated sequence. If you like, practice the seated first and then come up to standing. For those of you who did want a much gentler yoga, I'm going to put together a yoga sequence for you so you can practice when you're having really bad pain days. But enjoy, keep your feedback coming. Namaste.